Hello, welcome. Let's try to solve Lico problem 281, zigzag iterator. Um, so for this problem, we are giving two arrays and uh, we want to, yeah, just to set the next and has next. So we are giving two array, v1 and v2. So for the first time, we're going to have a next. It's going to be uh, the first element inside of v1. It's going to be 1. And next, we're going to get this 3. And next, we're going to get this 2 inside of v1. v1. And next, we're going to get 4 inside of v2. And next, we're going to get 5 and 6 inside of v2. Uh, how can we solve this problem easily? Uh, first of all, let me just uh, prepare a self dot v it's gonna be an empty array, and then I'm gonna check the first uh, element inside of v one and v two. So for a b in zip uh, v one and uh, v two, and uh, I'm gonna use the self dot v dot uh, maybe yeah. Let me just use extend maybe. I'm gonna extend an array. It's gonna be uh, a and b. Yeah, but I'm not sure which array is longer. So I'm going to check the difference. So the um, difference of the two array is going to be an absolute value of uh, length of v1 minus uh, v2. Yeah, so this is going to be length of uh, v2. Now I'm going to check um, if uh, length of v1 is more than length of uh, v2. So what am I going to do? I'm going to prepare the self dot v dot uh, extend uh, because v1 is longer. So I'm going to take the uh, v1. It's going to be minus uh, uh, this. Yeah. Or maybe I'm going to use the uh, integer k as my div. So it's going to be from uh, minus k to the end. So at least length of v2 is more than length of uh, v1. So self dot v gonna extend uh, with v2 and from minus k. Yeah. And for the next, I'm gonna directly return self dot v dot pop with zero. And has next, I'm gonna directly uh, return a self dot. Yeah, I can directly use the self dot um, v. Yeah. yeah, because if there's an element inside, definitely it is true. Otherwise, it's going to be false. Now, as you can see, it works. Now, let me just submit it to prove that it really works. As you can see, it really works. So this is the first case because normally we didn't solve with follow up. Uh, yeah, so the interesting part is the follow up. So it's going to be the next video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.